there and welcome back to the channel. Today I, Panty Plays History, will do an unexpected review. The reason I've not done this before is because I struggle to put my thoughts and ideas into viable words that aren't just animalistic or demonic noises. So we will see how this goes and I thought I would start with a demo of a game that I've also backed on Kickstarter and it's called The Edge of Allegoria. This is a retro inspired 2D turn based RPG adventure which drew me in because it reminded me of when I was a lot younger. It's got this Game Boy Color sort of look to it, like the original Link's Awakening. It's all in green tones. Although it's not the type of game I would have been playing at that age because, like the tagline says, this is not a game for kids. This game is full of profanity, sexual innuendos and drug paraphernalia. So if this puts you off, then it might not be the game for you, but it is more adult based. The game starts off with introducing us to the setting. The world was created by the good guys. Weird evil stuff appeared. Things got really exciting um, and then things just kind of stopped happening and everyone got a bit bored and it all just sort of petered out. And this is where we come in. We are the protagonist. Yeah, let's go with that. So you are the hero of this story. We also have a dog that you can stroke and pet, so you know, this gives the game extra points. The major hero is someone I could really resonate with and the creator really captured the essence of trying really hard, working and it all being for nothing and no one appreciating you. So then you have a breakdown before running out into the countryside and punching things and screaming until you feel better. Did I mention everyone seems to hate you as well? Because yeah, that's a thing, and it, it's great. But most importantly, the mechanics of the game itself. You move from screen to screen, and use the Pokemon type system of routes and towns. And when you are out in the wild, you can experience random encounter battles against monsters where you gain item drops and XP from defeating them. One of my favourite aspects of the game is the equipment system, because I love to collect stuff, like a magpie with a nest of shiny things. In this game, you can find equipment inside chests, or you can buy it from traders, but the important thing is that you use the equipment. Then, your mastery of it goes up. If you die, your mastery of that item is reset back down to zero. Each item gives you some kind of ability or stat boost that becomes permanent once mastered, so you can just keep stacking, you keep getting skills, whether it's passive or to be used in battle, stats. This felt like the kind of system that was meant for me because I love to sit and collect skills and just collect items in general. Although overall I didn't find any of the enemies during the demo to be that difficult, including the bosses. But I think the encounter rate could be a little higher. I understand trying to balance this with the game mechanics would be maybe a little bit difficult since you would then need to mess with things like the XP gain and the mastery gain. But maybe if you had battles a bit more frequently, I might have needed to use the mountain of food that I'd found during the demo's adventure. Something that I really loved as well was the fact that the music is just so authentic to the way that it used to be on like the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color. And that's because the music combines both Game Boy sound chip emulation and modern MIDI instruments and effects to give you that nostalgic gaming experience. So overall, I really enjoyed the gameplay elements and the exploration, leveling up, mastering the equipment, music, art style. I think I'll leave a link to the Kickstarter below. If you're interested, you can go take a look, maybe become a backer as well. If you enjoyed the video and want more reviews in the future, let me know by liking and commenting below, and I will see you next time. Bye.